Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're obviously we're going to be going for first place once again. And this time, I'm bringing in two of my level 10 heroes. I just got them up to level 10. And uh, heroes in this game unlock an extra ability once they reach level 10. So, I think uh, we're just going to try to aim for first place with our new hero abilities. And of course, uh, my first hero, Gem, my favorite starting hero. Her uh, second ability upgrades uh, a certain synergy, the Sylvian synergy. So I have two heroes to give me Sylvian units. So I'm only going to need one more. Like I need to uh, either get like the Druid, the Dryad, not the Dryad, but uh, either the Tree or the Druid early on. And then I could pretty much get the Sylvian combo going on early. And I could get her buff, which is a health and uh, damage boost early on. And then my other level 10 hero gives damage and health buff to these guys. And we got the train ready. We, wow, we got. How am I gonna do this? I want the synergy, but I also want the level two Dryad. I think the synergy is more important, as you can see the little hero icon over here. This unit is getting buffed. And we're gonna put the hunter in the middle because um, we don't want people like assassins jumping next to him. And I need one more gold to get this Dryad, so we're gonna hope uh, this is enough. We have three Sylvians in our hero buffs Sylvian units once I get the synergy. So this is looking like a really strong early game. I think we should win against this. Like the ranger has no one next to him, so he's just gonna keep killing people. And last minute care, very strong, OP. Look at only uh, the tree and died. I'm actually kind of surprised any of my units died. And just like that, uh, won our first round. Doing a nice well played. Uh, look around, anyone else? are going uh, Sylvians. This guy's two level 11s. A little scary. Oh, this guy's guy's level 11. So uh, I don't know what synergy that hero boosts, but he boosts a synergy, which could be pretty scary. We're gonna buy everything, I guess level up and reroll, see if we can get any more. Um, I think we want the sword master. But for now, we will. I'm thinking maybe selling these two. And we're just gonna buy the Swordmaster. They'll help the Treant tank. We'll put the Ranger behind him too. So the Swordmaster could buff all of them. And actually, I wanna put the Dria next to him too. Because Dria, I think now that he's a two star, he's probably tankier than my, my entire front line. Yeah, so Dria, uh, normally a healing unit is my tankiest unit right now. So that's pretty cool. And I was about to say I got a lucky crit there, but he just got like, th well, he's getting crits like crazy, Jesus. Maybe that was part of his uh, hero buff. Because uh, maybe the buffs are different. I thought uh, once uh, heroes level 10, they give cent bonus health and damage to your units. But um, maybe uh, that guy's hero gave bonus crit chance or something. I'll have to get level 10 on that hero to find out. Optimus at level 3, I'm a level ahead. Um, I didn't check the spells of the moment. I wonder uh, what kind of spells there are. So I guess we'll just keep getting Dryads because we could, uh, at this rate, possibly get a three-star Dryad. That would be amazing. And uh, here's a Druid. Sylvians are buffed, so we might we want as many of them out as possible. And I guess we'll have the Justicar card too. But we also want the Hydra. These are all units I want, but we also want the Hydra. So I'm thinking instead of buying these units, I probably should have leveled up, thrown someone in, and then bought them next round. But do I want to lock for the Hydra? I don't think so. I think we could risk uh, not getting that mana buff. That mana buff would have been very strong. Hmm. So that was closer than I would like, but we still won in the end, so well played. Still only have two synergies, and one of them is a uh, super easy synergy to have. Also only just buffs one unit, so it's barely a synergy at all. So pretty much one synergy. And we're still at three lives. That's pretty good. Uh, so what do you got here? Uncle Tickle. Uncle Tickle. Okay. <laughs> He's level four. Um, I'm thinking maybe going up to level five. You might as well also go up to level five. So uh, spells of the moment. Let's see. We got cannon fodder, power play, and then I don't know what the other two are yet. Um... 
50% chance of exploding. I might want to buy cannon fodder because 250 is a lot of damage. Uh, I'll buy the Hydra and let's reroll. And oh, we got the we got more Sylvian units. Another wow, there's just a lot of units we want over here. So I think uh, we're obviously gonna buy these two. And um, I would have leveled up, but we wanted to get the two star Swordmaster. So next round we'll get the Hydra in. It looks like this guy is not outnumbering me yet, so that's pretty good. Outnumber him with the uh, two stars though. And a little sad that my trade didn't get his ability off, but the Cyclops missed his too, so. This guy was on a winning streak, just ended that. Unglitical? That's a hard name to pronounce, but it was a pretty interesting, <laughs> pretty creative name. See what we got here. Uh, four green dragons. We're gonna probably be the fifth person to buy one. The, uh, we're falling behind on levels. Looks like most people are five or level six. Andre is level four. And we're level five now. Um, actually, if we buy the green dragon, I don't think we don't need the Hydra anymore. Um, oof, the Ranger aside because we want the green dragon to give everyone mana. So I'm thinking maybe we just buy the Triad or we could sell the Hydra and just reroll. And we got another ranger. That's cool. Um, three rune priests. That might also be a little cool. I have a lot of gold on my uh, board over here, which is not what I want. I'd rather spend the gold and hold on to it. Is this uh, auto chest battle is pretty fast paced. We're also on the edge of many synergies. It looks like we're still doing pretty good. Gem, obviously, a really good hero power, killing everyone. This guy's evading a lot. What the? I'll be pretty sad if uh, <laughs> if he draws. Just... Look at the zealot! Oh my god! As long as we don't lose, I'm happy. But that's still. Mm. <laughs> that hero ability, which gives him evasiveness, uh, kind of strong over there. But do we want this two-star room priest or do we want to throw in any of these other units? We would have had the three-star oh, two-star vampire if we just bought that. But I think we actually ignore the room priest for now. We don't waste our gold on that. And we got a look at these uh, other guys. So a two-four. Um, I could sell someone, throw in another unit. But who would I sell? One of the druids. I'm gonna sell the druid and put in another druid. And of course we could buy that next turn, but I don't know if uh, this is worth holding on to. This guy's got a lot of assassins, so we'll see how this works out. Obviously, uh, my team's looking really strong right now. Void's key foe. Well played, just took him out. Slayer bonus could help us get a spell next round too. That'd be pretty good. You might still be a star leader. I am right behind him though. I got two, three, I got three, three, two stars. I ain't been messing those numbers up, <laughs> but we're right behind him in two stars. So with my team synergy, I think my team's looking pretty strong. Slum pod, these are some uh, pretty good names. We can around. Um. So I'm thinking of. Uh, Maybe merging this two four six eight Try this and I guess I'm gonna look for more dream units. Oh, we got the tree in. that's pretty cool uh, Two four I'm gonna need three more gold. We might sell this druid, but we need it for the uh, full uh, combo So we got over here radiance melee attacks at 20 crit. Oh, and okay Those melee attacks, right? Yeah, uh, actually I only have two melee attackers, so that probably was not the best choice. My two-star treant, wow, that was a lot of damage. And my two-star treant, really love the big AoE. Once again, we have a zealot, but he's not two-star and he doesn't have the evasiveness, so. Well played. Took this guy out, that's pretty cool. Normally I don't like to hold on to so many units, but we're doing so well anyway. Might as well just uh, accept it and hold on to the units. Three, two, one. 
Pierre at level 7. He's out leveling us right now. If we level up, we can just throw in the Justicar. Or maybe even a Stalker instead. Um, I'm thinking the Justicar would probably help us out more. But we also have the Synergy, actually. Uh, I think we're going to throw in this Justicar. Now we got a nice Synergy with our 2-star Swordmaster. And I think we'll just look for more... Uh, wow, that's a lot more... <laughs> I was about to say we're gonna look for more of these guys. I'm not gonna try to go for the three-star Justicar because that might be a little waste of money. So I'm gonna buy the ranged attack. I should have bought this one last round because we have mostly ranged attackers. We have four ranged, three melee now. So I mean, it's, it's almost 50-50. Our team's looking very strong. No, <clears throat> whoa, need a little bit of water. <clears throat> what I was saying, uh, our team's looking really strong. So that is good. Oh, I forgot to well play him. We slayed him. Didn't even uh get well played. So we're fighting Bill. <laughs> Just Bill. And um We might look we were on the verge of a few. I don't think we could get the three star trinket either, so I think we're gonna save our gold and just keep rolling. Oh, and we got a another green dragon and another dryad too. So we're pretty close. Instead of buying the dryad, I probably should have uh, bought an upgrade. So I think I'm gonna sell this and go ahead and buy one of these. Power play. Um, we're tied for units. We're both level seven now. I don't think that would work. And my uncommon common units could explode. So I think I'm gonna do that because we mostly have common uncommon units. We only have two. Uh, units above uncommon And we might as well reroll see what we get uh, Nothing useful I don't expect to lose this the treant ability went off. It's pretty good and he's still alive. So treant ability once again goes off And we take this guy out. He was just starting a winning streak. So it looks like his team was starting to come up and be strong And we're the only player left with three lives too. So this game's looking Pretty much like ours. We're also the star leader now. Um, I see the only way we lose now is uh, this guy's on a big winning streak. So uh, this guy might be pretty dangerous. His winning streak's almost as big as mine. Uh, we're top ten now, so we might as well buy these. Um, stunning foes. I don't have any way to stun them. And once again, berserk. I don't know if you guys checked out my first uh video in this series. I tried out berserk. I couldn't make it work. I think I uh, I'm just gonna look for more Dreads. Oh the Mundo. There we go. Uh, I guess I'm gonna level up and put the Mundo in Switch these two around We got another sword. Oh, we got a red dragon So I think we're gonna buy the red dragon and try to fit him in but now. Oh, oh, I need the druid in I thought the Mundo is the last unit we need for our full synergy, but we don't have room for the druid yet And we just took this guy out. It didn't even matter in the end anyway Druid also are a very weak unit. I rather uh, if we do level up I rather put in the red dragon instead of finishing that synergy off You mar I might actually replace the mundo with the red dragon right now Because we're top eight I rather spend gold on spells unless we find more dreads bone dragon or red dragon I uh don't think we need two dragons. I think I'm gonna look for more dreads. Wow, we got that's a lot more gold. I think we're definitely gonna buy another red dragon, but first, okay. Well, we're not gonna put the druid in. We're gonna. Uh, mm, I still can't stun foes. So I think uh, we'll just buy dead eye and save our two gold. This spell's going away, but we don't have that many melee units. Wow, there a lot of the units are melting. We're doing a lot more damage than I thought we would. This guy's on a seven winning streak, but looks like uh, that won't be lasting long. Looks like uh, the hero second abilities that buff your team is pretty strong. I mean, uh, gem on top of her healing and her second hero ability is just really working well for us. We're very close to uh, our perfect game. Oh, we're gonna fight the same guy again. He's level ten. He's two levels ahead of us. Um, so we're gonna get this. I don't know if I should I'll buy the Mundo, but I, I'm gonna sell it if uh, ooh. Yeah, that's uh, exactly the unit we want so yep, I'm selling this and I'm gonna look for another Dryad 
We're very close. It's not what we want. Interesting though. Um. Okay, well we're pretty much gonna look for a red dragon or a dread. And we got her. Um, uh, who do I sell? I guess the red dragon will do that and buy a spell quickly. So I think it was fast enough. Oh, and the red dragon goes in too. So yeah, we got the three star dread and a red dragon now. Our team's looking very strong. A little sad I had to sell one of the red dragons, but uh, looks like the guy already left. Well played, ready one. Once again, the zealots, the last guy alive. Zealots are uh. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing the name right, but they're pretty tanky. Even though they're ranged in their healers, they're very tanky. I, I, I would kind of, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I see them in the front line sometimes. They also have very high magic resistance compared to the other units. Olivier, I forgot to check what level he is. He's on a four winning streak, but this guy might be the last guy we fight until we, uh, uh, I could buy the bone dragon and then, uh, put it in. I think I will do just that. Unless we find something else to put in? Nope. We'll just put in the Bone Dragon. We're surrounding these units. I think I'm gonna put these in the middle, so at least six of our units will get the Dragon buff. At least five. Unless the Green Dragon is the one. Because once you have multiple dragons, only one of them gives the other surrounding units plus 40 mana. So it's random which one does that. I'm seeing it's switching the Mundo and the Dryad, but I think it'll be okay. Oh, there was a train ability. Our team looks so strong. This guy's going gem too, but he's he went gem as his last year. I think gem should be his first. Oh, played. Easy win. And last guy who's also on a winning streak. Winning streak of five. Daspic, level nine. We're the same level. I don't think I need to rush the next level. I might instead, uh... Any spells that could help me? Your melee attacks? How many melee attacks? These guys are mostly ranged. Uh, so we got three, four, five. Five ranged and four melee. Pretty much half and half. Um, cannon fodder. I don't know if that would help out a lot. I might as well buy Berserk, but it's not going to do much. It might do a little bit. And you know, we'll buy Archangel if uh, we lose this round. This guy's got a lot of two stars too, so who knows? This might be our round to lose. But we do have last minute care, so uh, ooh, we are actually losing this, and I'm not too happy about that. Ah, okay, let's let's find out why we did Archangel. Jeez, he's got two star Archangel. That's why. Well, there goes our perfect game. Oh, you know what I noticed? I think, um, I want to see his team again. He actually, uh, because of this spell here, he has units that summon, uh, ghosts. And the ghosts blow up and die. That's actually a little crazy. We're going to replace the Mundo. Archangel in the front way better. Um, you know what? Should we just throw in a fire giant and then we'll just get level 10 we'll sell the mundo get level 10 and throw in a fire giant so our front line's a little tankier red dragon's gonna be a little stronger and i we might as well buy cannon fodder too but i don't think we could beat his can i'm gonna see this again but i think he's summoning a bunch of ghosts yeah he's got a lich he's got his own ghosts and uh i can't really see what else he's got over there yeah, his team is very strong. Pretty unfortunate. I don't know how we're going to pull through this. Uh, maybe if we get the last... We, we need a zealot, maybe. But who would we replace on our team? This guy... We got the same amount of synergies, but he's just got way more two stars than I do. Um... I know the bone dragon. I'll buy it. We'll see what, where that goes. But I'm most likely just gonna sell it. Another archangel. Um. Hmm. Another. Well, I can't buy that. But that would be pretty cool. We might as well just sell this and then buy whatever this is. Stunned foes. 
Oh wait, I want to see the battle. It looks like it's going a tiny bit better, but in the end, it's still not going that great. <laughs> I guess just in the end, he, he has way more uh, two stars than I do. Well, it was pretty close, I guess. Uh, not really. Rank number two. Little disappointing, but what could you do? I guess uh, Jim's power was still showing how strong it was. Look at this perfect game. I don't know what this is. Why is that empty? No clue. Couldn't beat the last guy. Hmm. Well, anyway, thanks guys for watching. Uh, actually, I might as well open these chests. Find out what we get as a, re a result for almost winning. And oh, we got a new hero, Thor. Olgar. So let's check that guy out. Um, let's also open this. Oh, it's just gold, whatever. Check out the new hero. Uh, we first fortress unit dies. Logar summons a cross shaped shockwave. This guy's a fortress unit hero. That's pretty neat, I guess. You can level this guy up as well. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my almost perfect win. Second place is pretty cool, too, I guess.